When you crash diet, your brain literally starts to eat itself. And when that happens, things can get ugly. We're about to enter the world of the office worker, where you will find a rare, mysterious, feared, and dangerous type of homo sapien, the dieter. Holy smokes, this is going to be an adventure. This specimen here is trying to lose weight by starving her body of sorely needed calories. But science tells us that when we starve our body, our brain cells also starve, causing neurons in the brain to start eating themselves for energy. This self-cannibalization signals a survival mechanism in our brains that tells your body to start eating. We know it as being hangry. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. <gasps> that was close. In this country, we are surrounded by dieters more than anywhere else in the world. When their blood glucose levels fall too low, they are susceptible to anger and aggression. So what makes them so ornery? It all starts in the brain. The less the dieter eats, the more her brain cells eat themselves, triggering the hunger response. When you're hungry, it is more difficult to concentrate and behave within socially acceptable norms. Have a look at the colleague who wisely camouflages himself to avoid a potentially dangerous confrontation. This is why the CDC recommends that people exercise and eat a healthy, balanced diet if they're trying to lose weight. Oh no! Danger, danger, danger! Whoops! Looks like this little intern isn't as lucky. Being hangry is a survival mechanism. After all, if we sit back and always let others eat before us, we wouldn't live very long, would we? This has been a great demonstration of how hunger can have unpredictable effects on the brain. Share this video if you think crash dieting is never a good idea.